Hello, this is Svetlana Shepetsina and today we will learn how to create a RAG component. Uh, we will save it to file template in order to use in future and also we will uh, practice using inline styles in React app. In our application we have a form and uh, you can see that for each uh, form input we have separate component. Ad uh, article title, article content and only for button we have input type submit. Let's take a look how it looks. Uh, we need some style and we need to create separate component for it. Uh, first we create javascript file, we find the source in folder common, javascript file with name button. Then uh, we need to import React component, it's by default. And then we use ES6 uh, syntax, so we immediately export, we use syntax export class with name button. And since we use ES6 syntax, uh, we definitely need a constructor. Constructor in TypeScript, React constructor. Here it is. Constructor accepts properties and uh, with running method super uh, that uh, accept these uh, properties, uh, we uh, bound uh, we assign dynamically uh, property this uh, to, component, to component itself. So in future when we use uh, syntaxes this props or this state, uh, it always means that it bound to this component. We have a constructor and now we need to render our component. Ctrl J and I can find RND if I didn't learn yet all shortcuts. It's easy to find. Uh, just type in uh, which function you try uh, to create. Uh, in this case, render. So it works like this. I, for example, forgot a shortcut. I type render. Ctrl J and uh, I try to find by explanation. So when you create uh, live templates, always uh, don't skip adding description. Then by description you can easy to easy find it in future. Okay, we have render function. This component will re render HTML for us, uh, but we will use GSX syntaxes. Uh, we find it more convenient, but it's not required. Uh, now we have a basic architecture for our component and we can add some content and use. We want to create a button. Let's add a button. And uh, uh, we will name it also submit. Let's do like this for example, and now we can use it. I will leave input and uh, use button. Okay. Like this. And let's check would it work. No, it wouldn't work because we forgot to import our button. We always need to import our components. Up components and we imp button from uh, components common. And if I start typing button, let's try. Control J, no, Control Space. It, it found it. A little bit not correct. 
should be like this. So we have our component imported. We use it. And now let's check if it works. You can reload browser with a shortcut R. And now we have uh, two buttons submit and let's remove our input. Uh, you can see that for a couple minutes we created a component, React component, uh, with a button. And um, in order to make our workflow uh, faster and follow best practices, let's save this component to file template. We have basic structure for now. And in order to save to file template, I have a shortcut, Ctrl-Alt-T. Save as template. If I want to take a look like this, and I would like to remove button. I'm not going always to create buttons. And uh, I also ha want to have possibility to change it. I'm not sure that shortcuts work here. No, they don't work. So I will show how to do this on uh, another approach. I will leave a for now button and uh, I need to choose name. Name button, but I want to name it like this. And extension JS without a dot apply. Okay. And now how to reach uh, this file template? Ctrl Shift P. I choose where I need to create the file. Alt I. And we try to find it here. React template. Here it is. Try to show. Yes. React template. And uh, I need to give a name. It's template test. Okay. Here it is. Uh, but uh, the issue is that uh, I don't want uh, uh, this uh, name to be uh, always the same. So I need to edit file template. Uh, how can I do this? Again. Alt I. Now in any place, edit file templates. And here we have the same interface. We can find our uh, React template. Here it is. And we have possibility to edit it here. And it will be variable apply and I wish will show the difference in creating I will remove for now and uh, where it is it's hiding drag template now I'm asked to give a file name and my variable name. File name will be, for example, my input and uh, input. Okay. And you can see that immediately you have uh, a basic React uh, template created for component with imported React uh, with all necessary functionality. And also you can change name dynamically on creating these components. It's very important when you need to work uh, every day uh, with this approach and it saves a lot of time. Also, you can easily find your uh, templates in folder C, Users, Username, WebStorm, Config, File Templates. If I come to WebStorm. You can see config, 
just templates and for now we need file templates and you from here can just open it and if it's more convenient for you to edit like normal file here it is and uh, we have created button before I will remove my input we have button submit and uh, of course I would like to have this uh, property uh, to have possibility to change it dynamically I add then like this like this and it will be this props children do I have this shortcut no this props I have something react nest this prop variable it add me two times so this prop variable like this and I can wrap with this uh, prop syntaxes in react we have possibility to get properties from uh, parents and also with syntaxes this props children we uh, we reach properties on uh, children element now how, how can we use it on button uh, now I need to create it like this I give a name this props child that uh, this props children's allows to us and it will be click me And then when you uh, use this module, this component in another application, uh, you can easily add any string here. And let's check how it works. Here it is, click me. It's reloaded because it's submit and it's inside our form. And if I move outside, You will see it will be reloaded first time but after click nothing happens so if you have button with form you need to make sure that uh, you put it inside form in order it uh, would have submit functionality and now a little bit about uh, styling uh, using inline styles in react uh, gives us a lot of features and uh, you can uh, read everything about on a website on react and uh, it will be useful to read about JSX in depth and I will add all useful links and links to my shortcuts and templates in video description if we want to add uh, some styles in react we need to tell my shortcut, sorry, it will be style and uh, then instead of quotes we use object syntax and we add a property for example background color But uh, don't forget to use camel case. So I need to work like this because I need to use it in quotes. And uh, I need to wrap it in double braces. We have background color blue. Load. Does it work? Somehow it does. 
and I see that I made a mistake. I tried to add it directly on apply on a button and I need to come back to button and add styles here. Reload. And it works. But let's change a little our style. We will add color to our font. We need to put comma and I have a, a shortcut STP. It will be color white. And let's add try like this. Would it work? Yes, it works. Uh, but now instead of white, we need to change to dark gray. Reload, it works. And uh, we have possibility to add in line. That would be black. All styles almost all styles that we wish. And in order not to use it uh, here, for example, I don't want to use like this style, but keep it separately. I need to create variable. So styles, uh, STP, style property, uh, background, Color. Uh, let it be red and uh, STP property color white. Save, remove styles from here but apply style and it will be in this case single quotes and our variable btn styles now it should be red if the progression is fine And uh, I made a mistake. Let it be just background. I need to create more shortcuts. Now it works. And we have basic styles. Uh, we can add it uh, as many as we wish here. Uh, but what if we uh, want to apply uh, st some styles conditionally? And uh, we would like to add uh, features for hover and uh, for active state or for example if form is saved I would like to make it inactive. All about these features uh, we will talk in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.